The short answer is no. And the longer explanations that involve explanations of vaccine effectiveness, her immunity threshold um, is also no, particularly when we're dealing with a new um, variant that's much more transmissible and much more severe. That means even if we could have done it um, by immunizing 100% of the population before, we are dealing with a completely different ball game now. Um, and the way that the vaccination programs are being rolled out right now, it's not putting out fires where it's burning. And so the variant outbreak, the fire is going to continue to burn in patches until it connects and becomes an inferno. While we put water uh, on, adjacent, on adjacent um, parts of the forest. And so um, even if we're really strategic, um, we would have had to do it very quickly um, as soon as we detect a new outbreak of um, the new variant. So vaccination is the long-term goal, but while you have an active fire burning um, with a variance outbreak and spreading fast like it is right now, we are not gonna be able to vaccinate our way out of it right now. Um, even if we could have everyone vaccinated you know, within a month time, let alone vaccinating the people who are being exposed um, and as a result are transmitting the viruses right now, you know, let alone vaccinating those essential service workers only two months from now. So we have to remember that, yes, we will protect people from getting very sick, but when we have evidence that the vaccine can stop uh, the spread of the virus, it would be very smart to use the vaccine strategically so that we could actually contain the outbreak um, where it's happening. Um, and But that does mean changing our vaccination strategy, you know, whether by targeting a sector of essential workers or by making sure that as soon as a new case is identified, we vaccinate in a ring vaccination fashion around the household, around the work site to prevent it from spreading further. And it's worth all the financial and human resource investment to do that now um, because the cost of not doing it um, will be much uh, worse health-wise as well as, as long-term economic impact. I think there's certainly the recognitions that, that uh, politics trumps um, evidence or sciences a lot of times. Um, but if we have the courage to let evidence and science lead the way, uh, when we're dealing with medical and um, health crises, I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised of the economic benefit of it.